Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. GPT-3 has taken the world by storm. It's only been a year and people have discovered different ways of using GPT-3. One thing that people have not been happy about is getting access to GPT-3. So in this video, I'll show you how you can use the amazing features of GPT-3 without actually paying any money for it. So without wasting any further time, Let's kick start the video. Let me start off the discussion by importing the necessary modules. In this activity, I'll require the JSON module, the request module and the pprint module. So let me go forward and run the cell. Now that I've unhidden the cells, you can clearly see that I have a secret key file called as hugging underscore face underscore secret underscore key dot json which essentially contains some kind of an api token is this a clickbait video which you've clicked accidentally and it's again a paid version well no what i intend to show you today is how you can use all the features of gpt3 using an amazing open sourced version of gpt3 called as gpt neo GPT Neo is easily accessible on the Hugging Face platform. All you have to do is sign up on the Hugging Face platform. You will have a secret key associated with your account. You just have to enter that secret key here and that's about it. Let me show you the process of getting your own API key. So let me click on this particular link. Once you click on the link that I've shared in the notebook, you would essentially reach to this particular page. In this page, you have to fill in your basic preliminary details like your email ID and password for this particular account. Here you are basically joining the amazing Hugging Face community. So just enter the details. Once you've entered the details and once you've kind of verified your email ID as well, I'll show the next screen wherein you will have access to the API. So let me show that as well. So you will have your own profile, something similar to this. All you have to do is you have to go to settings, go to API tokens and press copy. So you have your own individual API key that you can use to make API calls to different APIs on hugging face. There is a limit to how much API calls that you can make. So you have a free version as well. So you have this particular free version wherein you can try out accelerated inference APIs up to 30 K input characters per month. You have community support as well. And if you want to extract more from the website, then there are different plans that are there. So I'm using the free version. Uh, so that is what I've created as well for this entire task that is related to GPT Neo. Uh, everything was possible using the free account itself. So let me go back to the coding screen where I'll show you the power of GPT Neo. So let's go back. Given that I'm creating this video, which would be viewed by a lot of you, I have kind of kept my secret key inside the JSON file. Whatever is your secret key, you can kind of directly attach it to a string variable and then utilize it once you go forward in the activity. So, so I'll go forward and I'll load all the data inside the JSON file into a variable called as key underscore data. So let me quickly run the cell. Let me extract the exact API underscore token and save it into a variable called as API underscore token. So let me run this. So here in this query function, you essentially have to pass in the parameters, the options and the payload. Uh, the API URL is kind of fixed. So here I'm using GPT Neo 2.7b. I'm passing in the headers, which is where I'll pass in the API token. Then I'm also appending the inputs, parameters and options into the body section of the request. And then I'm basically passing in a request and I'm extracting the response into a variable called as response. If the response is okay, I basically print out the generated text. Else I'll throw out the error messages. So let me go forward and import this function into memory. Now 
Next up, I've created a dictionary called as parameters, which has different keys like max underscore new underscore tokens, the temperature and the end underscore sequence. So max underscore new underscore tokens is essentially the maximum limit of the total number of tokens that are generated. Temperature kind of adds the amount of randomness in the total number of tokens that are generated and every new input and output values, how are they separated is where the end sequence comes into picture. So I'll kind of walk you through the end sequence part in the coming section of the video. So let me go forward and run the cell. So the activity that I intend to perform with GPT Neo is something called as few short learning. In this example, what I'll pass is I'll pass in some examples of tweet and their sentiment. So there will be an input and there will be a corresponding output associated with that input. So if you read the first tweet, it says, I hate it when my phone battery dies. And the sentiment of this particular sentence or tweet is negative. I've added a delimiter that clearly specifies that there is an input and there is an output. This is one pair of input output that I've provided to the model. Similarly, this is the second example where I have the input and I have the corresponding output. Similarly, I have the third input output pair. And finally, I provide something called as input and I want the output to be extracted from the model. The entire input output chain is something that I save into a variable called as prompt. So let me go forward and run this. Next up, I create a dictionary with the name options and I assign the use underscore cash key equal to true. So let me go forward and run this. Now I'll show you how magic happens. So now what I do next is I call the query function wherein I pass in the prompt, I pass in the parameters and I pass in the options and I save the response in a variable called as data. So let me go forward and run the cell. So I have the response ready with me and here is where I'll show you the exact magic all thanks to GPT Neo. So as you can clearly see the final output, I've provided the input tweet as this new music video was incredible and the sentiment is positive. So essentially you can try out different applications using this amazing model called as GPT Neo. You can create your own Python to SQL converter. You can create your own natural language to SQL converter. There are tons of applications that you can essentially try out using GPT Neo. So now essentially you don't have to rely on GPT-3 to create some amazing natural language based applications. You can easily use GPT-Neo and get your job done. So this is something that I wanted to share across today and I hope you found this video informative. If you do like the content that I post on my channel, it would be super super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching the video.